Hi everybody, I'm Revigilance and welcome back to the Viewer's Choice Project 2012. Today we're playing Warning Forever. It's a, uh, it's a freeware uh, shooter game that me and my friend John found one day. No, don't play the demo. And yeah, it's a good game. And... Yeah, here we go. So how this works is you have these bosses. It's a, the game's a series of bosses. So that's the first one. Pretty easy stuff. But as you go along, the bosses evolve. Depending on the way you kill it, like by which pieces you might wreck, or if it kills you with a certain weapon, it'll evolve accordingly. You can also uh, change your... Uh, you, you have a directional shot, and you can like make it into like a, a wide beam. And I died. If you haven't destroyed the bits around the core, the core takes a lot more damage to destroy. But... But I kind of like doing it that way. Just going straight for the core. I'm not sure if it's the best strategy to do it that way, but that's what I like to do. And I died. You can actually destroy the missiles with your shots, so that helps. Basically, every time you die, you lose some time. And every time you win, you gain some time. And when you run out of time, that's game over. Yeah, the way the, uh, the directional shot works... It's kind of weird, like, it stays still when you're holding down fire, but when you let go of fire, it kind of moves along with you. It, it's, it kind of, like, moves behind you. So you're, like, dragging it around. It's Once you get used to it, it makes total sense. And I keep... Oh, man, I'm sucking at this. Okay, let's try destroying some of its parts now. See how that goes. See, now all that's left is a core, and that goes down real quick. See, they just keep getting bigger and bigger and more crazy as the game. And they move like that too. It's kind of creepy the first time you see it because you don't expect it. Whoa. Nuts! Come on! 
man. Yeah. Sometimes you get a piece that glows like that. I'm not really sure what that means. I don't know why it's glowing. Ah, nuts. I'm sucking at this. Like I said, I'm sucking at this. Like, sometimes it's a good idea to take out the, the arms after all, because... That's where its weapons are. Alright, the Wing Striker. Well, oh. Yeah, like, it seems like if it kills you with a certain weapon, the next time it'll have more of that weapon. Because it figures, okay. That's your weakness. It's effective. Nuts. I ran out of time. Well, let's give it another go then, shall we? easy I guess one thing you might be able to do is you could try deliberately dying to a certain weapon that's easy to dodge, like those lasers. To exploit the boss into having more of them, but I don't know. I don't want to deliberately die and waste time. The wider. You could also just do a big spray like this. I usually prefer focusing my fire though, so. But if you want to take care of a lot of targets all at once, then that's a way to do it. Uh, how did I hit? How did that hit me? How did I let that hit me? I just let it hit me. Double wider. See, it's this is different than it was last time I played. Oh, yeah. So, what do we got next? Tetra Force double wider. Okay. Oh. Uh oh, missiles. Not much you can do against me now, unless one of those missiles luckily gets me, but I don't intend for that to happen. Ecto beamed double wider. Oh. 
Oh, he's got a lot of lasers now. They're pretty easy to dodge, though, because you can see them coming. But if there's a lot of them, then it's not so easy to dodge. The wing wider. Oh yeah. Hexa needled wing wider. Whoa. Holy crap. Holy crap. It sure likes those uh blue shots. That's a lot of them. I don't like that. And <laughs> it's spinning a lot. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. The wing arms. Holy crap. This thing's getting really wide. I'm getting into my stride now. <sighs> Pentaforced wing arm. Oh, nuts. What? Oh. Oh, narg. That's why I shouldn't have said I'm hitting my stride, because now I'm losing my stride. Boy, am I ever. Okay, let's get these arms. Oh! And yeah, if you leave the core alone, it gets that rapid fire, and that's not pretty. Pentaforce Wing Arms Omega. Okay. I'm not going to survive this battle. There's no way. I don't have the time. Well, I, I'll try, but I don't have high hopes. I might. Oh. Actually, now it's looking like I will. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. The Asura. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. How did I survive that? I don't even know. Nuts. Well, I got a score. Third place. Ha <laughs> ha That was good. That was good. 
All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time on the next entry of the Viewer's Choice Project 2012. Goodbye.